Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to add CSS3 animations to objects in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So, this is a sample website, or this is actually a template on DabsonHTML.com, which is Audio City, and it has some form of um, animations set to apply to it. So, let me just go ahead and I refresh this page so that we take a look at the animations. So, the first thing you see is actually the preloader. You have this fit in in a very smooth way. You have these objects come in. And then these objects as well as you have these objects also coming and then this and so on so all these are being achieved with css3 animations just like i was saying earlier having animations on your website add some form of interactivity to the website so without talking further let's go ahead and then take a look at how to go about something similar to this so i already have um, a simple website design here which i'm going to use for this particular demonstration now what i'm going to need is to download a preloader or a loader on the website so let me just go ahead and then open up the website so you when you go to icons 8.com forward slash preloaders there are lots of preloaders available in here that you can actually download for free so uh, i have already um, one downloaded which i'm going to use for this particular demonstration so let me just go ahead and then minimize this so to get started i'll first of all need a layer so i'll come to the toolbox and then search for the layer two so I'll click on it, then I'm going to draw in here. Now this particular layer is going to contain our loader or preloader. So let me just go ahead and then keep that here. Now I need another layer. So I'll come back to my toolbox and then I'm going to keep another layer and this particular layer I have in here. So this is the master layer or mother layer and then this is going to be contained in it. I'm going to double click on the first layer and then let me change the mode of that particular layer to darken. And then this is going to be um, fill. And then the alignment is going to be center and then okay i'm going to double click on this particular layer i'm going to keep the mode to sticky and then i'm going to keep orientation to center um, center center that's what i want for this particular one and then alignment is going to be center and then i change the delay to zero now i've already worked on how to go about designing a preloader or working on a preloader which i'll have a link at the top of this particular video so that you can have a look at how um, to go about that too let me just go ahead and continue with this process now let me change the background property of this particular um, layer to transparent and then i'm going to change this one to so um, that is going to be white so the color is going to be white and then i'll click on ok now let me come and then get my um, loader so let me i have my loader open up here let me just bring it here so this is what's going to be my loader it's actually a gif file which i downloaded from the site um, I showed you that's icons8.com. Now, let me just go ahead and then preview this and see how that's going to be in the browser. So, as you can see, we have the preloader, which is loaded. Now, that thing is happening because that is all what we've set. That is, we have the um, docking layer set on top of all the objects. So, that's how come we have it this way. So, let's come back and then see how best we can actually um, control this. So, to be able to control this, we are going to need a timer object. So I'll come to the toolbox and then I'm going to search for the timer object, which I'm going to bring in here. And then I'm going to add some form of events to um, all the objects I have on this particular page using the timer object as well as I'll be using bookmark as well. Now be, to be able to go about that, I have to rename the object I have in here. So I'll start with this layer, which I'm going to call the loader. And then once I have this particular la um, layer um, renamed, that is the object ID renamed. Now I'll come to my timer, I'll double click on it, and then I am going to configure some properties in here. So the first thing I'm going to have in here is going to be, um, I'm going to set this interval to 2000. So this is going to take some few seconds and then an event or something is going to occur. I want this particular time, um, that is the timer type, to, I can keep it to either interval or timeout, but I'm going to use timeout in this particular demonstration. And then I'm going to come to event. Now under event, I'm going to hit on add. And then the event um, type is going to be on timer. And then the action is going to be when I um, this particular event is met, what do I want to? Okay, because once we load this page, this is what shows first. After the, um, the time, that is the 2000 milliseconds, I want this particular object to hide, that is the loader. So I'm going to have hide with effect. So I'm going to set hide with effect and then I'm going to select my loader. And then how do I want it to disappear? So that's going to be fade and then I'll click on OK, click on OK. So let me preview this again. 
So you realize this takes some um, seconds. After that second, so the time is met, it disappears and then we have the content shows on the page. So let's continue with the next set of um, animations. So back here, let me just go back to this particular uh, page. I think I have it open up in here instead. Now on this particular page, because when I come or land on this particular page, what I see first is this text. I also see this text as well. So I want a situation whereby after that 2000 milliseconds has been met and then the loader disappears i want these objects to fade in in a very nice beautiful way so let me go back to my um uh, my project and then let's take a look at how we can go about this so let me double click on my timer and then i'll come to the event but before then let me just go ahead and then close that i have to rename or rename all the object ids of this um this object i have in here so let me just start with the top one so i'm going to name this to maybe this is going to be hello or let me just name it in a way that it's going to be easier for me to locate them so this is going to be hm hm basically for home and then i'm going to have heading uh, maybe heading just heading and then i'll come to the next one which is also going to be hm main heading and then i'll come to the next one which is going to be hm and then that is going to be text and then i'll come to the next one which is going to be hm which is um i'll rename this to btn that is basically for button and then i'll come to the next section so this is going to be ab that is basically about and then i'm going to um abt abt is fine and then i'll make this image and then i'll come to the next one so abt heading and then i'll come to the next one which is going to be abt text and then to the button which is going to be abt btn and then i'll come to the last section so i'm going to have the service so this is going to be um, sv that is for service and then heading and then i'll come to sv text and then i'll um come to so web design so maybe sv sv web icon or sv web icon and then the next one is going to be web design or oh, yeah so sv web i can just leave this to web and then sv um, web text and then i'll come to the next one which is going to be um, social media so that is going to be sv um, soc that is for social and then i'll make this icon and then this is going to be sv um, social that is soc this is going to be hidden and then uh that i keep this i think this is okay i just made this let me just make this social and then i'm going to make this soc text so that's sv soc and this is going to be text and then i'll come to the last part which is that is going to be sv seo icon and then sv seo heading sv seo heading and then this is going to be sv seo text so that's it for this particular um so rename it with the object now i'm going to come to the timer object and then i'm going to add some form of um, um animations to all the objects i have in here so i'll come to the event section and then i'm going to hit on add so this is still going to be based on the timer because once we come to this particular page since we are seeing everything here after the 2000 milliseconds we want to have some animations set to this once the preloader disappears so let's just go ahead and then take a look at that so the first animation i'm going to have in here um, the action is actually not going to be any of this but this is going to be animate css3 so i want to use css3 animations for this and then the target is going to be um, since i'm starting with the home section and this particular button sorry this particular um heading text what i have in here i'm going to go to the hm section and then i have heading so that's um the object i want to set the first set of animation to so and what kind of animation do i want to apply to that particular one so i want to have this particular text come in and from the left direction so i'm going to look for animate left in so let me just go through uh, smoothly and then I let me locate animate left in. So let me just go. I think um should have animate left in. 
Um, so this, let me just keep going. Okay, so animate fade in left. So that's what I want to have here. And then the delay. So the delay is basically how long do you want it to take for this particular animation to um, take effect. And the duration is how long do you want it um, to proceed to once the animation is happening. How long do you want the animation to happen? So for the delay, I'm going to set the delay, delay of this particular one to 400. And then let me click on OK. Now let me just preview this in the browser and see how that is going to be. So after 2000 milliseconds, this disappears. And then this particular text comes in, which um, is a very cool um, animation effect. So let's go to the next one. So I'll come back to my timer. And that's the event. The next one is going to be this particular H, um, that is HM uh, main text. So let me just, so that's the main heading. And then the animation is still going to be, that is action is going to be animate CSS3. And then that is also going to come from the left section. So let me just um look for locate the animation i want to use so animate fade in left and then the, the duration is going to be 500 but the delay is going to change so i'm going to keep the delay of this one to 450 now i'm adding up 50 to it to give it some kind of interval to make it um let me let's just take a look at this so after this goes away so you realize how this comes in so this one came in first this one followed with some few seconds delay. So let's proceed to the next one. And um, so I'll come back to my timer and then I'll come to the event section. Now, the next one is going to be for this particular text I have here. So on timer, this is going to be animate CSS theory. And then this is going to be HM text. So let me just locate that. And then what animation is still going to be though this time around, I'm going to change this a bit. Instead of it coming from the left direction, I want it to come from the bottom to the top so that's how i'm going to keep this one now the delay is also going to change so this is going to be 600 and then i'll click on ok now let me just go ahead and then add that of the button to it so that i can preview that in the browser so let me just set um, this is going to be the button this is also going to be animate fading up and then the delay of this one is going to um, change that is also going to be 600 because i want both of them to come at the same time so let me just go ahead and then preview this so after this goes away now we have this so you realize this came in from the left this followed now this also came in from the bottom and then we have the button as well now nothing is happening to this um, set of objects because we haven't um, applied anything to it so let's just go ahead and then take a look at how to do that as well so let me just come back to this and then I double click on the timer object and I'll go to the event section. I hit on add. Still action going to be animate CSS3. Now the target is going to change. Um, since I'm working with this, um, let me start with the text first. So the heading text. So I'll, I'll start with the heading. And then the animate is going, animation is going to be from the left hand section. So this is going to be animate, animate fade in left. And then the delay for this particular one, I'm going to keep this to 450 and then I'll hit on OK and then um, I'll hit on OK as well. So let me come to the next one, which is going to be the text. And then I'll um, let me just uh, come here rather. I'll double click on this and then hit on add. Now this is going to be animate. Now I'm going to select for the text, ABT text. And then the animation is going to be coming from the bottom, which is animate fading up. The delay is going to be 600 and then I'll do same for the button as well. So this is um, going to be animate CSS3. This is going to be about um, ABT button and then this is going to be 600 as well. And then let me just change this to animate fading up and then I'll hit on OK. And um, let me apply to the image here. Now I want the image to scale in. I want it to be smaller and then it becomes bigger. So it's going to be some form of fade effect, but this is um, the property we are going to set to it is going to be scale. So let's select um, the target is going to be the image. So this particular image, and then I'm going to go to transform. So I'm going to scroll to transform section and then I'll have transform um, scale in. So let me just locate that here. So let me, so I have transform scale in. That is what I want to have for this particular image. And then the delay is going to be 700. Now I'm setting 700 because I have 600 set for the text as well as the button. I want this particular image to come after all these um, objects has appeared. That is the text, 
and then the button then the image follows so that is all for the animations for this section i'll go ahead and then hit on ok now let me preview this in the browser and take a look at how that is going to be so we first have our preloader it goes away you realize how these came in as well as these came in now it's happening in a very fast process not really so much fast but it's happening in some fast process um you can basically go about tweaking the duration for it to be able to you know delay to your preference but for this particular purpose i decided to keep them um this way so that it makes it um you know come in a uniform way now the next set of animation is going to be applied to this particular um object in here since once on this particular page this objects are the visible ones that was how come we had to use the timer object now this ones require us to scroll before we can actually see it so what we are going to use here is going to be the bookmark property so let's just go ahead back into our um, project let me scroll to the bottom and then this time around i'm going to get the um the bookmark object from from the two box so that is it here i'll draw in here now i want to keep this in this, in this particular layer and i'm going to keep it to this particular position now what is going to happen with this particular object is that i want a situation whereby when i scroll and then this particular bookmark event um, bookmark object becomes visible then the animation takes effect so let's just take a look at how we are going to go about that so i double click on my bookmark object and then i'm going to come to event since i already have the object renamed um, the object id is renamed uh, that is not a problem too take off from here so let's get started with the set of animations we are going to have so the first one let me hit on add now i'm going to change the event type to on scroll reveal because i want a situation whereby once the bookmark becomes visible in the browser we may not see it visibly in the browser but once it becomes visible or gets to that section then i want the animation take effect so the first um, one is going to be applied to this um, set of an, um, objects so let me just come to um, animate css3 and then i'm going to locate um, sv web um, so i'll start with the icon so i have sv web um, i should get icon so that's the icon here and then the animation i want to set is going to be slide left in so this time around i'm going to use slide left in let me just go to the uh, bottom to see if i can so i have um, slide left in so that's what i want to have for this particular one and then they do the delay is going to be 450 i'll keep the duration on 500 so that's what i want to have here i'll click on ok the next one is going to be applied to the text here so let me just go back and then not forget to change this to on scroll reveal and then i'm going to set this to animate css3 and then this is going to be sv so this is going to be web that is what i had set for this particular text and then the animation is also going to be coming from the left so that is also going to be slide left in and then the delay is going to change from um, 450 to 600 and then um i'll have uh, i think you know uh, let me just keep this on 500 so let's just make five uh, 50 the interval between the first one and then the second one and then the duration i'll leave it on 500 as well and then i'll click on ok so the next one is going to be um for the text i have in here so this is going to be a screw reveal and then i'll come to animate css theory the target is going to be sv um, web text so that's what i want to have here now the animation is going to be slide left in so that is what i have here and then the delay is going to be 600 let me um, just make this 650 so i have um, 150 difference between this and then the text here and then let me just go ahead and then click on ok so let me click on ok and then let's preview this in the browser so once the loader is done we have everything coming in here and then let's take a note of something so once i scroll realize this animation takes effect so just like i was saying earlier because the bookmark object is becoming visible to the browser or we've gotten or we've scrolled to that particular section that's how come we have this animation being taken effect and then also if you realize that the animation or the animations happening in here are not happening every now and then it happens just one time once we load the page or we refresh the page so once we refresh the page that is how come or the animations takes effect you realize on some websites once you scroll and then you come back it's still 
or curse that is not really so much a good way we can actually do that but that is not what we want to have in this particular tutorial so let's just continue with the rest of the um animation that is applying to the rest of the objects we have in here so let me come back here and then i'll come back to my bookmark property and then the next one is going to be applied to the social set of objects so i'll come to add and then on scroll reveal so i always want to keep the event on on scroll reveal and then this is going to be animate css3 the target is going to be social so this is sv soc icon and then the animation is this time around i want this set of objects to come from the left this one is going to come from the bottom and then the right one is going to come from the right one so this is i'm going to set this one to slide up in so instead of left this is going to be slide up in so let me just locate that so i should have slide up okay so here you go and um let me change the delay of this one to 450 as well and then set this to so i'll leave the duration on 500 i'll move on to the next one which is going to be on scroll review the action is going to be animate css3 and then let me just set um, select my text object that is the heading so that is going to be svsoc heading i should have svsoc so yes that's social for the heading and then the delay for this particular one is going to be 500 and then let me change the animation to also slide up in so that should be uh let me just scroll down a bit so that should be here and then let me check okay that's i think i've done that already and then click on ok and then let me move on to the next one which is going to be on screen review this is going to be animate css3 i'm going to change this to uh, my social text and then i'm going to change this to 650 so i have that set and then let me just go ahead and then click on app. let me change this animation i want slide up in and i have that here let me click on ok click on ok and then let me preview this in the browser so animation okay when i scroll this comes from the left this comes from the bottom and then i'll have the final one coming from the right and then i'll have these ones just fade in so let me just come back then apply to the last set of objects so i'll come to event and then i'll hit on add so this is going to be on screw review and then animate css3 our target is going to be the last set so that is going to be sv and then i think that was seo so we have sv seo icon this is going to be slide right in so let me just go to that section and then let me locate slide right in so i have uh, let me just so i have left should have right in here so that's right and then the delay is going to be 450 and then I'll, uh, so I'll keep that. So the duration is going to be 500. Let me just hit on OK. Let me go to the next one on screen review. Animate CSS3. And then let me locate um, SEO text. So the heading first. This is going to be 500. This is going to be slide right in. So let me just locate that slide right in. And then hit on OK. And then add to the last um, object there. So that is going to be um the text so let me just locate that seo text and then this is going to also be slide right in that's it here and then this is going to be 650 i'll hit on ok and then hit on ok let me preview this again so this goes away we have a written we scroll we have a written so we have this coming from the left this from the right um the bottom and then we have this from the right now let's just add fade to these ones that's the services and then this particular text here so let me just come back here i'll double click on this hit on event hit on add on screen reveal i uh, should have i think services that i change this let me just see if i did change that services text i don't think i renamed that let me just go back and then rename this so, okay so i have seven sv heading and, and sv text i think that's it let me just come back here so this is going to be sv heading right and then this is going to be animate fade in so animate fade in i want to make me make this one let's just say um maybe 400 400 is fine and then let's go to the last one which is going to be on screen view animate um that is also going to be animate fade in so let's just um sv text 
should have SV tech somewhere here. So that's it. And then there's going to be admit fade in. And then this is going to be, let's just make this um, 430. And then let's hit on OK, hit on OK. Now let's preview this. Let's wait for this to go away. So we have this. And then once we scroll, we realize we have animation taking effect. So that is basically how you can add basic um, CSS3 animations to objects on your website to, to be able to add some kind of interactivity to your website. So that's just about it. I'm going to make this particular project downloadable. So there'll be a link attached to it so that you can actually download this um, project. Once you, if you don't get anything, you can go through it over and over to be able to share about the animations and everything. So thank you very much for guy, um, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button as well as hit on the notification. So anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So thank you very much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next one.